Today is show and tell day at school, and Howard B. Wigglebottom brought his pet mouse. Oh, cool! Said Ali as she opened the cage to get a closer look and accidentally let the mouse escape. Who let the mouse out? The latch doesn't work very well. He gets out all the time. He had a choice to make, and telling the truth might get his good friend in trouble. Later at recess, Howard swung the bat and hit the ball really hard. The ball flew over the fence and hit a car, smashing the headlight. Who broke that headlight? Demanded the angry driver. Everyone looked at Howard. He had a choice to make. I don't know who did it. That afternoon on the bus, Nancy bragged. My papa is a rich doctor who saves lives. What does yours do? Howard paused. He had a choice to make. His father had just lost his job. Shh, don't tell anyone. My father is the spider bunny. Howard made the wrong choice. On the way home, his brothers and sisters dared him to a race. Howard had a choice to make. He knew he would come in last. Lately when I run, my ear spins so fast I fly like a helicopter. It wouldn't be fair, so go ahead without me. Howard made the wrong choice. Later in the day, his mother asked, oh, Where are your shoes? Hurry, you'll be late for soccer practice. Howard didn't want to go, so he hid his shoes. He wasn't very good at soccer and didn't like all that running. He had a choice to make. I can't find my shoes. I guess I can't go. Here, wear these and let's go. <laughs> Howard made the wrong choice. Even though a little voice in Howard's head kept telling him that lying is wrong, it was getting easier and easier for him to do so. But he was not ready for what happened next. Papa Wigglebottom had a favorite chair that the children called the money chair. Sometimes coins from Papa's pocket would fall into the chair. Every Sunday, the first bunny awake would race downstairs to find the coins. The deal was that whatever was found had to be shared equally among all the brothers and sisters. On Sunday morning, Howard ran downstairs before anyone else. He dug into the chair and there were two large shiny 50 cent pieces. These are really cool. Maybe I should just keep them for myself, thought Howard as he shoved them deep into his pocket. At breakfast, Papa asked, Did anyone find any coins in my chair this morning? All the kids <laughs> shook their heads, disappointed. Howard had a choice to make. No money this week, Papa. Papa looked sadly at Howard for a long time. Howard made the wrong choice. Howard had a bad feeling about himself for a long time. He couldn't sleep that night because of all his lies, especially the one he had told his papa. He kept seeing his father's face over and over again and thinking about how sad he looked. The lie felt like Howard had a monkey on his back. Next morning, Howard woke up feeling worse. He knew he had to tell the truth, but he was scared it would make his father even sadder, so he didn't say anything. This made the monkey on his back get bigger and bigger and bigger. At the end of the day, Howard was feeling awful about all his lying. Finally, he listened to the little voice in his head, his conscience, that told him it was wrong to lie. He decided to tell his father the truth. Howard made the right choice. That night, as soon as Papa came through the door, Howard told him everything. I haven't been truthful lately. And he began to cry. I don't have helicopter ears. You are not the spider bunny. I hid my shoes. I found coins in the chair. I lied to you and everyone else. I'm so sorry. Howard was surprised. The monkey was gone. It felt so good to finally listen to his little voice and be brave and tell the truth. Howard made the right choice. Howard, I'm very proud of you. You feel much better about yourself when you tell the truth. Lying makes you unhappy and have bad feelings about yourself. No one will trust or like you if you lie to them. Let's make a list of the people you need to apologize to and ask to forgive you. 
promise yourself that from now on, you'll make the right choice even if you feel scared. Howard felt good when people liked and trusted him. From that moment on, he understood that if he listened to the little voice in his head and didn't lie, the bad feeling about himself would never, ever come back. Neither would the monkey. He was very glad about that. Howard never wanted that monkey on his back again. Howard learn about telling the truth? Yeah! <laughs> Which picture shows Howard being untruthful to the driver to protect himself? I don't know who did it. This one? No! Or this one? Yeah! You got it. No need to lie to protect ourselves. When we feel scared and unsafe about a strange adult, we must call a trusted grown-up to deal with the situation. Which picture shows Howard lying to protect his friend Allie? The latch doesn't work very well. Is it this one? Yes! You got it! Lying to the teacher or our parents is always wrong, even if it's to protect a friend or a sibling. Which picture shows Howard lying about his father being the spider bunny? Don't tell anyone. This one? No! no. Or this one? Yes! You got it. If we want to be liked and accepted, we must never lie to our friends about anything, 
Kids like kids they can trust. If we lie, we will not be trusted. Which picture shows Howard guilty about lying to his father? Is it this one? <laughs> Or this one? Yes! You got it. <laughs> Howard had a little voice in his head that told him lying is wrong. When he chose not to pay attention to the voice, he felt unhappy, like he had a monkey on his back, which was weird and uncomfortable. Whenever we listen to the little voice and do the right thing, we feel good about ourselves and we will be liked by everyone around us. Hooray!